Hello, it's Elliot from Kent Estate Agencies and today we're taking a look at Honeysuckle Villa here in Dargate on the wonderfully named Plum Pudding Lane. Now this is a detached period style cottage standing on just about 0.75 of an acre so a beautiful sized plot here and a lot on offer. We're just going to go around the building to the right hand side just to give you a sense of the character on offer from the outside of the building and just to give you a sense of how much space you've got around you here giving you that beautiful sort of separate and detached feeling from everybody else now with this one as well you've got some beautiful countryside views and a wonderful wonderful garden here the property has been sympathetically refurbished to a very high specification so it does give you the easy option in a lot of ways coming straight through into a property and appreciating and enjoying the character that's on offer without having any of the hassle of maintaining it so coming straight through into the main hallway space here we're going to go through and across to the kitchen to start our tour on the ground floor of honeysuckle villa so coming straight through ahead of us here you can see a beautiful open kitchen space here opening through into the garden room then of course from there you do have the utility room then through to the dining room or perhaps reception area depending on how you'd like to lay this space out then through to a lounge and cloakroom and downstairs bedroom so again continuing on with the kitchen here you can see a full range of fitted appliances, beautiful amounts of space in that central island really forming the focal point of the room. Coming through into this incredibly light and bright and airy garden room here is a beautiful space to enjoy your gardens and of course all of that natural light flooding through and that's one of the huge points with this property is its garden and you really do want to make the most of the views surrounding you and the garden space as well. So from this area here, we've got the access through to the utility room that we'll go through and take a look at. You'll see that we've got an access point through to the front of the property again from there. Then we're going to head back through and go into the dining room and reception and then through to the lounge and cloakroom, downstairs bedroom. Then we'll head upstairs and take a look at what we've got there. So coming through into the utility room here, you can see that you've got side access there. Butler's sink with, of course, that beautiful view out straight ahead of us from the windows and then of course the access down into the front of the property. So having taken a look there at the uh, second reception area, we come through to the front of the property to take a look at the main lounge. Now, this is a beautiful room with that exposed brick fireplace there, huge amounts of light coming through from these sash windows. And it's nice that you've got the access back through into that reception room that we were in just a few moments ago. And then of course, you've got the access through into the garden room as well. So it is a very open uh, feeling here on the ground floor of the property, which again, goes a long way into giving a sense of the space here as well. So we're going to go back out into the main hallway space and go across and take a look at the ground floor bedroom with the ensuite. So the property really is completely future proof depending on what you need to lay the property out and what you need in terms of uh, convenience in the property. Of course, quick glance there at the downstairs cloakroom, but into the downstairs bedroom here, wonderful with the access out to the front there. Lots and lots of space here for the double bed and plenty of storage as well. And then we'll go through and take a quick look at the ensuite before heading upstairs to take a look at a further few bedrooms, and of course the main family bathroom.
So here we are upstairs at Honeysuckle Villa up on the first floor. I'm going to go through and take a look at the fourth bedroom or dressing room depending on what you need to lay the property out with. Now you do enjoy of course some beautiful views up here from this room. It makes perfect sense to have this as a convenient dressing room but you could have it as a fourth bedroom as a single room in that. Coming back out and across the landing, we're going to go through into bedroom number one here with the ensuite. Beautiful dual aspect room here with the windows there to the front uh, side and rear, so making a triple aspect of that. And then, of course, you've got the ensuite here, beautiful views as well. Ensuite very much in the same style as we've come to find throughout the property. So, beautiful level of finish here. The shower unit on the left hand side with the loo and sink straight ahead of us, and again, beautiful sash window on the right hand side so plenty of space in here in this wonderful double bedroom plenty of options here for uh, storage plenty of space there for the double bed as well coming back down the landing we're going to go through into the main family bathroom we can see that you've got the loo and sink unit on the left hand side and the bath straight ahead of us with the shower attachment and again a beautiful sash window with some stunning views across the gardens you can see there a little glance of the paddock with the resident sheep in it that we're going to take a look at a little bit later on because of course you do have some wonderful garden space here with the stable block and of course the chicken coop as well so lots and lots on offer with this property in the grounds as well coming through now into the last of the bedrooms here a beautiful double size room again double aspect with the windows there to the rear and the side and again you just cannot escape those incredible views so let's go into the back garden next and start to take a look at what we've got there i'll leave you for a few moments and we'll reconvene closer to the end of the tour So I've left you for a good while here in the rear garden at uh, Honeysuckle Villa on Plum Pudding Lane and of course there's a lot to take in here taking a look at the chicken run, the stable block, the paddock as well with two darling sheep in there as well but now it's time just to recap a few points on the property and finish up today's tour. So this is Honeysuckle Villa on Plum Pudding Lane here in Dargate, a beautiful detached period cottage sitting on a plot of about 0.75 of an acre. The property offers you some incredible, stunning views of the surrounding countryside and a beautiful finish throughout, having sympathetically been refurbished to a high specification by the current owners. I really do hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this property with us today and I'm sure you have plenty of questions for us. So I really would encourage you to give us a call and ask away. And don't forget if you like the way that we're presenting our properties in these video tours, why not give us a call today to book your own free valuation.